Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gianni, and we're going to be talking about the rib ring shifts in um, our second and our third, maybe fourth rib ring. So these rib rings, along with our manubrium, um, are the, the movement of these are really controlled and led by um, the movement of our shoulder girdle and our head and our neck. And a lot of them, because of habitual movement and positioning, we've shifted them out of place, right? You can think of them as like an old fashioned typewriter being shifted to one side and also rotated. So I want you to find your, your jugular notch right here between the, the clavicle bones. And then you can kind of bring your finger down onto your manubrium. And then you can go out and palpate, try to find your second or your third rib. So your first rib lives under your collarbone. So go down from there a few ribs. And then um, once you've found the rib on either side, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to listen to your touch. So have a soft touch, close your eyes, take about 10 or 20 seconds, and you wanna feel which side of the rib is in front of the other, right? So for 99.5 of us, especially in this area, we're gonna definitely have one side of the rib that's farther forward than the other. So for me, my left rib here is farther forward than my right. So my right is behind, so I'm kind of in this position. So how we can start to correct this a bit and create more balance is very simply, I can turn my head to the more forward rib. And just from there, keep my head turned, inhaling. And on the inhale, I'm imagining my clavicle on the right side and my first and my second rib rolling up towards the ceiling. And then on the exhale, rolling back down. Again, inhale, clavicle and rib rolling up and exhale, rolling down. I can also encourage the lift of these by adding my arm moving towards shoulder flexion on the inhale and on the exhale, bringing the arm down. And just by turning my head here, I'm getting more of a lift on this side. Inhale, and exhale. So what you can also do for this is to add um, a side bend. So again, the head turn or the side bend, which is also gonna bring the more backward rib forward. So I can side bend, I already feel this side of my rib cage coming forward. And then again, I can add that breath and the imagery. So on the inhale, when I inhale, I'm imagining my right collarbone and first and second ribs rolling up towards my face like logs on the river. And then exhale, cascading down. I can also add that arm lift, inhaling, encouraging that rolling up, exhale and down, and deep inhale, and exhale and down. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.